our next guest built an empire teaching people everywhere how to give in to their food cravings but not feel guilty about it. Please welcome the author of New York Times bestseller selling book, Hungry Girl. This is, excuse me, Hungry Girl to the Max. This is Lisa Lillian. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you're gonna show us how to make the healthy version of some of our favorite fast foods. I am, yeah. I started Hungry Girl about eight or nine years ago. I am not a nutrition professional. I'm not a registered She's dietitian. She's just a girl. I am just hungry, <laughs> like everyone else out there. Okay. Um, what I do is I help people make smarter choices when it comes to food, eat the foods they wanna eat, and then fit into their pants. That's the bottom line. Now, this, uh, let, let's talk about what this is right here. You recognize that this? That over there, everyone should recognize. That's a Big Mac. 550 okay? calories. Almost 30 grams of fat. Yes. Okay, today we are going to remake that for 235 calories and two itty bitty grams of fat. <laughs> We're clapping for you. Going to help me make one? Yeah, go okay, ahead. Okay, here we here we go. We're going to start off with this is a light bun. Like McDonald's, we have three pieces. This is an 80 calorie bun. Then we get on to the special sauce. My special sauce is made with fat free Russian dressing, a little minced onion, some white wine vinegar, a little bit of sugar. Next up, the cheese. Um, you guys, take note to this. Those little changes in your life, like I was talking to my after show at wendyshow.com. I do an after show every day um, in my office where I just talk about life. And, um, you know, a lot of you have been wondering how I've been losing weight, and I have to tell you something. What she's doing right now, except I usually take the top bun off and I wouldn't have a middle bun, but you're using... Um, yeah, I'm using swaps now. Instead of the beef, we're using portobello mushrooms, That's which is a That's the trick. Fantastic this is what ingredient. I'm saying to you. So again, you get a nice big fat burger. So a now mushroom. I'm on, I'm just gonna use my fingers. Check this out, okay? Then I'm not gonna We are done. You don't have, no. I'll make yeah, my own. I'll make I my own. my hands. Did you no, wash your hands? One over there. Three times. Okay. Here, this is done. It's 235 calories. Jeez. Two grams of fat. It's huge. <laughs> it has the pickles, the onions, the sauce. It's I'm fantastic. You, little changes. You'll be ready for swimsuit season. Come on, what are we doing? And I on? like huge portions. Okay, next up, Taco Bell. I heard a rumor you love Taco Bell. Is I love true? Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell, too. If you go to the drive-thru, one of the most popular items they sell there is the Mexican pizza. It's not even impressively sized, it's small. 540 calories, 31 crazy fat grams. So easy to remake at home. We're gonna make it and now. And my staff loves this. Yeah, no, you need to, we need to start making this here. No kidding. Okay, you start with two corn tortillas. You buy these at the supermarket, so easy to find. You bake these for about 12 minutes, get them nice and crispy, oh. and then we build. These are refried beans from a can, a couple of tablespoons of that. You layer that in there. Beans are good for you, by the beans way. Beans are good for you. Next You're telling up, us we gotta go quicker. Okay. Well, then we'll go quicker. Um, now, this, instead of ground beef, this is soy crumbles, and they're seasoned with taco seasoning. They taste exactly like ground beef. I promise you, you can make a face. I'll be gonna, the judge of that. You are gonna love it. Then mm -hmm. a little bit of taco sauce again from a jar. You got reduced fat. You have to taste it when oh it's God. all assembled. No. no. Is it good? What is this? That, that's, those are soy crumbles in the freezer section. Made by like Morningstar or Boca. They're really okay, great, easy trust to find, me. a great swap. This is good ground beef substitution. Reduce that Mexican blend cheese, some chopped tomatoes. You bake this for about three to five minutes in the oven. You get a pizza that looks like that. So low in calories. Guess how many calories? 255. That is it. Six and a half right. grams of fat. Taste that. Well, I'm, I'm scared to taste it because I don't want it to crumble on my uh, nice dress. You don't want it to have hot There's sauce. certain foods that you have to eat in secret. Do you know what I'm saying, foodies? <laughs> We'll these that later. would be one of them. All right, moving on. Starbucks. You know, people don't realize these drinks. You think, you know, you're drinking something that doesn't have a lot of calories. 400 calories, 15 grams of fat. Tell me about in it, this sister. And, yeah, it's crazy. So you make these things at home. It is so easy. You start, you keep, see, I knew she was going to jump in. You just start with the coffee, chocolate chips, powdered creamer. It's all in the blender here, okay? Soy milk, light vanilla soy milk, and then the magic ingredient here is this is a 20 calorie hot cocoa packet. See? And Can then you blend you it all up. Hold on, it's wait, all right, if you're jumping in there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, do this right. You need the fat free whipped cream. She said do it right. Do it right. right. That has 145 calories and two grams of fat. Anyone can make this at home. Simple ingredients. This is very That's good. That's good. Lisa, I love these tips. We do a lot of joking. But little changes will change your life. Studio audience, you're all going home with a copy of Lisa's book. Up next, everybody, it's time for Ask Wendy. Keep it here.